Hello, GoFiPal fans, and welcome back to the Solo Promoter YouTube channel. It is a pleasure to have you here as we enter the wonderful world of glitter. Uh, before we start with the matches, if you want to take a moment uh, to give this video a like and, and uh, subscribe if you have not, that would be awesome. But uh, what we're going to do is uh, I've decided to add a glitter sector uh, to my um, uh Go fight, pal! Uh, universe, and uh, this is be something that we'll we'll uh, visit from time to time. Uh, the way that uh, I usually do my sectors is there's 16 wrestlers, so there I have picked 16 uh, glitter wrestlers, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to have a two single elimination. Uh, eight wrestler tournaments, and then uh, the two winners of those tournaments will fight each other on an upcoming supercar to determine the first glitter champion. Um, at the time of this filming, I'm not 100% clear on where, uh, if, the, if the glitter universe has its own arena. I'm finding that out, and um, I'm actually not sure if what the name of the glitter title is, uh, but we will work our way towards that, and by the end, I'll have that information. All right, uh, I have taken the 16 wrestlers. Um, I've gone through all the uh, wrestlers that are available uh, for glitter, and um, I picked uh, 16 of them that I, I really wanted to uh, feature in the Fed, and um, I randomly mixed them all up, and so this is a because everybody is starting off with a. Uh, with uh, no wins, no losses. So this is completely random seeding for this tournament. Uh, so uh, our first match is going to be none other than Vampirus versus Boogie Boogie Babe. Uh, just for something about that artwork I think is goofy and fun. So uh, this is our opening match. Uh, Vamp uh, Vampirus will be red. Boogie Boogie Babe will be green. And here we go. We've got They both got a fast forward of four. Uh, no fours here, but Vampirus will start things off. Uh, ooh, and she hits the Draconian DDT. That is a six, so a two or a six. Two! Boogie Boogie Babe needs a one here, and she gets the one. She is safe. Uh, Moonsault by Vampirus. Uh, Babe is going to reverse that. And, uh, hit an eye poke. Uh, blocked by Vampirus. She probably does the Three Stooges thing. Uh, Boogie Boogie Blast. So a six or a one is what Vampirus wants to avoid. Uh, rolls a two, so she is safe. And the Boogie Blast again. So six or a one. Five, she is safe. Uh, three, leg drop. Uh, Vampirus uh, is going to reverse that. Uh, Nightcrawler. Uh, uh, and that hits uh, her pop rating. So Boogie Boogie Babe wants to avoid a two, gets a one, she is safe. Vampirus with the Vampirus Press, six, that is a hit. Uh, three, Draconian DDT, so a six or a two, and a three, so uh, she is safe. Vampirus rolls Rumble rating, we've got a plus one and a plus three. Um, and uh, Boogie Boogie Babe is actually going to win that Rumble. Uh, there is an eye poke. Uh, Vampirus uh, reverses it, Moonsault, uh, and that is going to get Boogie Boogie Babe's pop. Uh, three, she is still safe. Uh, Moonsault, again, uh, Babe is going to reverse it and hits the Boogie Blast. So a six and a one, and that is a five, that is a dodge. Uh, kick to the gut, Vampirus reverses it. Oops, almost dropped the... Uh, thing there, Nightcrawler, uh, Babe reverses that and hits a kick to the gut, blocked by Vampirus, Leg Drop, uh, dodged, and a Rumble Rating. So we got a plus three, plus one, and uh, Boogie Boogie Babe is going to get it again for Rumble Rating again. And, oh, uh, so that is a five, and I believe that is a five. So Boogie Boogie Babe will continue, even though it was a tie. I poke. Uh, Vampirus reverses it. Uh, Vampirus press. Uh, four, that is a block. And there is the good night grip. That is a hit. And there is night crawler. And that is a dodge. And there is the Draconian DDT, so a six or a two. Two, uh, Boogie Boogie Babe needs a one here, 
And she gets the one again. That's twice she's been able to do it. There is a Moonsault. Uh, that is a hit. Um, there's the Draconian DDT again. So a six or a two, four, safe. Uh, Moonsault. And Babe reverses it uh, with a headlock and a punch. Dodged by Vampyrus. Uh, Vampyrus, oh no, sorry. Uh, that's a headlock and a punch. Vampyrus reverses it. And there's the Goodnight Grip. And uh, that is going to be her pop. She wants to avoid a two. She rolls a two. She needs a one here. Does not get it that time. So with the Goodnight Grip, Vampyrus advances in the tournament. And Boogie Boogie Babe is sent packing. We'll be right back with our next match. It is time for the second match of the tournament. And from Free Agents 2, we have Tarian uh, going up against our Honda. Uh, so this should be interesting here. Uh, nothing majorly special on the back of the cards, meaning no, like, uh, you know, special stipulations or whatever. Uh, but let's see who advances in the tournament. Will it be a Tarian or will it be our Honda? And uh, green over here, uh, there's a two. That is her fast forward. So uh, our Honda has to roll her pop. She wants to avoid a two. She does. So Tarian will continue here. Five, Shield Maiden Slam. Uh, that is a hit. And uh, there's another Shield Maiden Slam uh, blocked by our Honda. Uh, Bel uh, Beltane Bomb. Uh, and that hits the pop. She wants to avoid a two. She rolls a three. She is safe. Uh, Tarian rolls the Celtic Clutch. Uh, our Honda reverses and rolls the ground and pound. Uh, dodged by Tarion. And there is an arm bar. Uh, yikes, I cannot, uh, it looks like a four. So a four or a five is what Tarion wants to avoid. And a five, she gets a five, so now she needs her power play of a two, but does not get it. So our Honda advances with uh, the arm bar in the Glitter Tournament. Uh, stay tuned, we'll be right back with our next match. We are back and you had to know that she was going to be part of uh, of Glitter and that is Jane Tompkins. Uh, of course, I am the creator of Buck Tompkins. Uh, so when I saw this uh, card, I was like, yes, definitely. And she will be taking on Nuclea. Uh, and I believe when I did the unboxing of this, I couldn't pronounce it and it was only today when I was putting things in sleeves and everything, I was like, oh, it's Nuclea, like Nuclea. All right, so here we go. Jane Tompkins uh, versus Nuclea. And again, there's no sort of special steps or anything there. We've got a fast forward of two, a fast forward of one, red, green, kabam. Uh, neither of those are the fast forward, but it's a tie, so we'll re-roll. Uh, neither of those are the fast forward, but it's a tie, so we'll re-roll. And we've got a one over here. we got a five. Neither of those. Jane Tompkins going to start things off with a hangman sleeper. And Nuclea is going to reverse it with a flying knee uh, blocked by Jane Tompkins. Uh, rumble rating. We've got a plus three and a plus three. And uh, Nuclea is going to win that. Uh, rumble rating again. And uh, Jane Tompkins wins the rumble rating this time. There's some buckshot punches. Uh, and that hits her pop. Her pop is a three, two. She is safe. And uh, there is a grinding bulldog. Nuclea reverses it uh, with the rumble rating. Plus three. And that's going to be Jane Tompkins. Uh, buckshot punches again. Nuclea reverses that uh, and gets a... Uh, a meltdown, and uh, so that is a oh, geez, looks like a six. Hold on, I'm gonna have to zoom in here. Power zoom, uh, yes, a six. All right, so a six or a two. Here for uh, Jane Tompkins. She wants to avoid a six or a two. Rolls a three. She is safe. Uh, there is the naked strangle. Uh, Jane reverses it. Uh, rumble rating plus three again for both of them. And Nuclea is going to take it. Four is a flying knee. Uh, five. That is a dodge. 
A sweeping hip throw. That is a block by Jane. Uh, Rumble rating, we got a plus three and a plus three, and Jane's gonna win it. Uh, there is the Sure Shot Leg Vine, and that is going to be her pop, which is a three. Oop, she rolls a three, she needs a four, and she gets a four. Jane Tompkins uh, follows that up with some buckshot punches. Nuclea reverses it uh, with a flying knee, and Jane reverses that. Uh, with the Hangman Sleeper, Nuclea reverses that, Thrust Punch, uh, Jane reverses that, great back and forth here, Grinding Bulldog, and that is a hit, uh, another Grinding Bulldog, and that is a dodge, um, Hangman Sleeper, and that is a block, and four, Sure Shot Leg Vine, and that is a block, uh, Buckshot Punches, uh, two, Nuclea reverses it, sweeping hip throw. Two, Jane reverses it. Uh, buckshot punches, Nuclea reverses that um, and rolls the meltdown. So a six or a two, and it's a two. Jane needs a five here, does not get it. So with the meltdown, Nuclea will advance and Jane Tompkins gets sent home. We'll be right back with our final match of the first round. As mentioned, it's time for the final match in the first round of the championship tournament. Um, well, I guess the contenders uh, championship tournament because the winner of this tournament will go on to face the winner of another tournament uh, to decide the championship. Um, but I guess it's a, a chance at a championship. Uh, but our final match is Fiona, which I don't know. I just love this card. I think this card is hilarious. Versus Thunder Kitty. All right. So this should be an interesting match. Um, we've got no crazy things here except that uh, Fiona has two finishers and two uh, two finisher numbers and two pop numbers. So um, what uh, what's good is also bad. All right, so uh, Fiona will be green. Thunder Kitty will be red. And uh, let's see, we've got a three. That's a fast forward. We got a six. This was a six before I moved it. So Fiona is going to roll. Her pop, this could be it. Uh, a four or a six is what she wants to avoid. Five, she is okay. Uh, but Thunder Kitty is now in control. Pile Driver, dodged by Fiona. Thunderous Chops, uh, that is a hit. Uh, Fiona's, uh, no, sorry, five, that is a Boston Crab. So four or a six for poor Fiona. And that is a one, so she is safe. Four, another pile driver. Uh, Fiona reverses it, and she hits the Fiona splash. So this is a one, two, or three on Thunder Kitty. There's a three. She needs a five here and does not get it. So big win for Fiona there, uh, downing Thunder Kitty with the Fiona splash. Uh, we'll be right back with our second round matchups. Moving into round two, this match is Vampirus versus Rhonda. Uh, so, uh, we will make Rhonda red and Vampirus, um, we will make her, uh, green. Uh, we've got a fast forward of five, a fast forward of four. Um, neither of them hit, but Rhonda gets, uh, the initiative. Rumble rating, we've got a plus three and a plus one. Uh, so Rhonda is going to take that. Six, there's the arm bar. And again, uh, this is... A four, so a one and a four is what Vampirus wants to avoid. And she rolls a three, so she is safe. Um, Ultra, uh, Uranage, I can never say that. Uh, Vampirus reverses it, uh, hits the Goodnight Grip, dodged by our Honda. Um, there is the Goodnight Grip again, another dodge, and a Moonsault, and another dodge. And there is another Moonsault, and our Honda reverses it uh, with a roundhouse kick, blocked by Vampirus, um, and a ground and pound. Vampirus reverses it, and rolls a Vampirus press. That is a hit. A goodnight grip, uh, blocked by our Honda. And there is the three, the Draconian DDT. So we've got a, a two or a six 
is what our Honda wants to avoid. One, she is safe. Vampirus follows that up with the good night grip. Uh, four, that is a block. Uh, four, Nightcrawler. Uh, five, that is a hit. And there's the good night grip again. And that's gonna be her pop. She wants to avoid a two. Rolls a one, so she is safe. There's a four, Nightcrawler, uh, blocked. And there is a six, that's the good night grip. Our Honda reverses it and hits a roundhouse kick. Uh, that is a dodge by Vampirus. Rumble rating, we've got a plus three and a plus one. And uh, our Honda is gonna take it for Uranat Nagi. I think that's how you say it. Vampirus reverses it with rumble rating. Uh, and our Honda takes it. Our Honda is gonna win most of the rumbles because she's got a plus three compared to a plus one. Vampirus reverses it for Nightcrawler. Uh, that is a block. Um, another Nightcrawler. And that is her pop. She wants to avoid a two. She gets a five. Uh, there's the Draconian DDT. So a two or a six are the numbers here. Ooh, the roll is a six. Our Honda needs a four. Does not get it. So with the Draconian DDT, uh, Vampirus will advance to the finals of this tournament. Um, and we will be right back with the next uh, semifinal match. All right, so our next match is Nuclea versus Fiona, and one of these two uh, fighters will head into the finals to face Vampirus, and then we'll get a shot at the championship. Uh, so Fiona is going to be red, Nuclea is going to be green. We've got a fast forward of four, a fast forward of two, and we've got a five over here, we've got a three. So Fiona is gonna start things off. Uh, Fiona Pounce, and uh, that is blocked by Nuclea. Um, and there is the Fiona Splash. So a one uh, or a three, because her pop is a three. A one or a three, there's the three. She needs a four, does not get it. Another impressive victory by Fiona with the Fiona Splash, and she will head into the finals, which you will see in just moments. Well, it's the time for the finals of this tournament, and we've got Vampirus versus Fiona here. And uh, Fiona has just been crushing people with her uh, uh, amazing uh, double finisher there. Um, but uh, we're going to see Vampire's going to be red. Fiona's going to be uh, green. We've got both have fast forwards of four. And it uh, looks like Fiona is going to start. Uh, and she rolls the body avalanche. And that is a hit. Uh, there's the Fiona pounce. Uh, that is a block. There is another body avalanche, and that is a block. There is rumble rating. We've got a plus two and a plus one, and uh, they are equal. So uh, Fiona is going to stay on offense. Charging Lariat, uh, that is a hit. Belly to belly suplex, uh, that is a dodge. Um, body avalanche. Uh, that is her pop. So Vampirus wants to avoid a one, uh, gets a two, so she is safe. Fiona follows it up with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Vampirus reverses that uh, and hits a moonsault, and Fiona's going to reverse that and hit a charging lariat, and Vampirus is going to reverse that and hit the Nightcrawler, and uh, that is a hit on Fiona. Uh, Rumble rating again, plus one, plus two, and Fiona is going to uh, re uh, take the offense and then she's gonna hit her finisher. Uh, so that is a one and a three. She has a one, so we just roll once. A one and a three is what Vampirus wants to avoid. She rolls a three. She desperately needs a two now and gets a one. So ladies and gentlemen, with the Fiona splash in three straight matches, uh, Fiona will be headed on uh, to our finals. Uh, and who knows what will happen there. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it as always. Uh, take care, take it easy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye everybody.